Howdy again, gang from Penobscot Bay. Woohoo! I know it's very bright. It's very bright right now. It's good though, because we had a six hour storm, a six hour pounding storm driving up here. It was brutal. And like I said in the last video, there was no electricity for two days. But something that I thought about on this trip, uh, I just got my, my statements from record labels and I noticed, oh yeah, that one was as an artist and this one was as a producer and that one was as a writer. And I've talked about diversification before. For me, and this is just something that I've tried to strive for personally, and it might resonate with you. And if it doesn't, toss it away. That's fine. But I have purposely gone out of my way to not be known for one thing in my career. I didn't just want to be known as a writer. That's how I started out was as a songwriter. I got signed as a songwriter. Then I became an artist. Then I got the opportunity to be a producer and was successful enough at it that they kept letting me do it. And all of these are different facets of your career. I notice on these statements that I just got from the record label, you know, one is as one of them, many of them are for as a writer and many of them as a, as an artist and others as a producer. I try to not do one thing for too long because I don't want to be known for one thing. I think especially now in our industry, it's very dangerous to get pigeonholed as one thing. Like producers that I see are just known as producers, they don't really work for more than like a five or 10 year hot period. And then they're scrambling, you know, and they're hustling for work. And writers, when I got to Nashville, you know, there were some hot, hot writers in Nashville, but they were only hot for like five or six years. And it's the same thing for musicians, the studio musicians. Maybe they had a five to 10 year period. I think it's really important if you've got different abilities, different talents in this industry is to stretch out and not be pigeonholed for doing one thing for too long at a period of time. So if I'm producing... I might produce a few records in a row and then I pull back and I might do something artistic or do something in a group rather than just solo or do some writing with different people before I go back to producing or playing in the studio or whatever it may be. That's what's worked for me and I've had a long career that way and it gives you money coming in <laughs> from many different sources eventually. So something to think about. If you can use that, put it in your pocket.